Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study a very important concept of isomerism called stereoisomerism. So, stereoisomers are nothing but compounds which have the same molecular formula, but they essentially differ in their relative positions or arrangement of atoms or groups in space. So, unlike structural isomerism in which we saw that the difference was essentially with respect to the connectivity or the way in which atoms were linked with each other, here in stereoisomer the difference is based on their positioning or arrangement in space. Now we know that there are two types of stereoisomers, one is geometrical isomers and optical isomers and these can also be classified as configuration isomers because these are very rigid molecules where the interconversion between structures is not possible by free rotation around CC bonds. We also have another class of compounds or another class of isomers called conformational isomers which in contrast to configuration isomers are orientations obtained by free rotation around CC single bond. Now more about conformations will be dealt in your chapter hydrocarbons and for now in the next video let us try to understand a bit more about geometrical isomers the first type of stereoisomers. Geometrical isomers arise or this particular phenomenon arises when a compound has double bond or in those compounds where there is rigid structure like a ring. Now why, why do we have this? We have a rigid structure essentially like a double bond or a ring such that there is restricted rotation. For instance, let us take the example of a double bond. We know that CC double bond is formed when there is a parallel overlap between the PP orbitals. Now if I try to change the relative position of these groups around across the double bond then what essentially happens is we have to rotate it in such a way that the PP uh, overlap is no more possible because they are not parallel to each other anymore and the pi bond gets broken. This is a very unfavorable situation and that is precisely why we end up getting different relative arrangement of atoms or groups. So these essentially also why they are also called configurations because they cannot be interconverted at room temperature. Now there are two type of geometrical isomers which are called cis and trans. Let us try to understand these two type of isomers using an example here which is butoene whose structural formula is CS3 CH double bond CH CS3. Now if you try to elucidate the structure of this particular formula you can see that you get two distinct structures. One where you have the two CH3 groups on the same side of the double bond and one where you have the CH3 groups opposite to the double bond. So there is no other way in which these groups can be arranged. So you can see that the structure in which the groups are on the same side of the double bond are called cis isomer and the structure in which where they are opposite to each other they are called trans isomer. So as you can clearly see if I need to convert the cis isomer to trans isomer I need to rotate it in such a way that the PP overlap is no more parallel and this particular bond gets broken. It is not possible at room temperature although we have seen that this interconversion between cis and trans is possible for certain compounds at very high temperature. But under normal conditions we have two distinct structures here and thus you have two distinct geometrical isomers which are called cis and trans. For the same reason geometrical isomerism is also called configuration isomers or cis trans isomerism. I hope you are very clear on what is geometrical isomerism. We will study in detail about what are optical isomers later in your chapter but for now please understand that optical isomers are nothing but stereo isomers which differ in their behavior towards plain polarized light. So detail about optical isomers will be covered later. I hope you are very clear on what is stereoisomers, how they differ from their structural isomers and what are the different type of geometrical isomers as we have just seen previously. Thank you.